What is going on, everybody? The Red Lord's back. Um, it's been a long time. It's been about a month and a half. Um, I think that's the longest duration I've ever gone without uploading a video on the channel. Yeah, um, I wasn't sure if I was just gonna not, if I was just not gonna come back and not make any more videos. I wasn't too sure, you know. Um, I didn't receive. <laughs> There weren't too many. It's funny. Some of my friends in my personal life actually reached out to me about um, the video I made, the 10-year anniversary video. So, so that was cool. And then, you know, I, I think I had not uploaded that frequently in 2020. And um, I just, yeah, like there wasn't, it wasn't as much of like a, a response to that video. So I just was kind of like, all right. I'll just kind of slink off in the sunset, and that'll be it for the channel. But um, there's still other stuff going on, obviously. Um, I'm still connected to all of the things that I do with the channel. Like, I still put out... I still play video games, for example. Like, I bought a PS5 a couple months ago, which I didn't do an un un unboxing it for. That might have been something cool to do. Um, I'm playing Cyberpunk 2077 right now. I beat... Over the last two months, I beat Ghost of Tsushima and Spider-Man Miles Morales, which were both decent games. Spider-Man Miles Morales was kind of like a DLC to Spider-Man, the one that came out in 2018. There wasn't much new stuff with it, but um, it was fun nonetheless. You had like these new Venom powers with Miles, um, which was pretty cool. Um... And the story's decent for the short length that it is, so didn't have too many complaints in that regard. Um, so yeah, and then of course there's the Walking Dead side of things, where the bonus episodes are coming out in, I think, next weekend. Not this weekend coming, but the weekend after, the bonus episodes of The Walking Dead will be airing, which is very exciting, and I probably won't be doing reaction video for that, um... I was thinking about it, but I just, I've been so disconnected. I haven't been keeping up with the news as consistently. Um, and, um, it's just for me, like I'm probably, and that was one thing I said with the 10 year channel anniversary was that I'm not really staying consistent with the channel. 2020 was the first big year of me, like not staying consistent with the footage. You know, I, I, and, and whether that had to do with COVID or not, um, it, you know, it wasn't because of it. Like, I had to I'll adjust a lot of things. Like, I just, you know, when, when something like a freaking worldwide pandemic happens, it makes you sit back and kind of consider what's important. So, for me, I wanted to... I didn't think that The Walking Dead... <laughs> especially because there was that hiatus, if you remember, because they had episode 15 come out, and then episode 16, the finale... You had to, we had to wait months and months until October for it to freaking come out. So I didn't have the enthusiasm really just, and I didn't think people were really in a mood to be talking about that kind of stuff when there's other really serious things going on in the world. And I just, yeah, and I just didn't think it would, for me, I was dealing with those things and I just kind of, kind of took my foot off the gas and said, I'm going to deal with my own situation um i detail some of this in the 10-year vlog um go back and check it out um and i did promise of some things in that vlog like going back and doing a retrospective on some of my old videos which i do old longtime fans will remember p dog who used to be in some of my video game footage like him and i still chat pretty regularly i mean he's a very close personal friend of mine and we uh, we were going back and looking at some of our old old footage i mean this is again now that i've been you know 10 years of gameplay and and walking dead stuff that's on my youtube channel there's a lot of cool videos like for different eras you know like the 360 ps3 era you know the ps4 xbox one and now there's a new era of gaming with the series x and um the PlayStation 5, which I, you know, because I don't really cover gaming stuff on the channel anymore, I mean, I'm not really covering that anymore. Um, 
the PlayStation, like, I wouldn't even know if the Elgato game capture would work. Because <laughs> that's how I used to record gameplay, and it's actually on the floor over here. Um, and I'm not even sure if that thing would be able to uh, work if I plugged it into the PlayStation 5. I haven't tried it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's one thing for... <laughs> you guys are probably like, wow, I got, yeah, I got a PlayStation 5. When the hell did I get it? It was December? It was a few weeks before Christmas, actually. It was on GameStop. They they didn't give a time. It was like a rolling... It was like, we're going to have a whole bunch of PS5s available from like 12 to 4 Eastern Standard. And you can, you know, just go on our website randomly. And I ended up buying one. And um, I've played, you know, really only played one... Miles Morales is the only game I've played on it. I still have most of my hard drive space on my PS4, so Cyberpunk, for example, I kept it on the PS4. I just didn't want, I didn't want to start clogging my system, and I'd rather save the hard drive space on the PS5 for the PS5 exclusive games. Like, for example, this summer, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart comes out. I'm a huge Ratchet & Clank fan, so I actually pre-ordered it the other day, and that game will only be on the PS5, so hence, I will save that game for uh, that system. Um... That actually parlays into something that I want to talk about on this video that I bought a very unique item and I will give them a shout out right here. Um, they're called the Game Changers. They make custom gaming controllers. And I wanted to show you guys this little bad boy right here. I don't I know my webcam's not the greatest quality, but I just wanted to give you guys a peek at this um this is a playstation 5 controller now you might not think so because let me get the actual playstation 5 controller so this is what the playstation 5 controller looks like okay the white like all the buttons are white if you see that and then from this website i purchased this classic controller as you can see, all the X, square, circle, and triangle are colored like the PlayStation 4. Even the PlayStation Home button with that classic PlayStation 1 logo. And it is uh, coated, spray painted in black. So this was a really cool find. And it's funny because I imagine that they'll make these eventually. Um, because basically, this controller is literally just this controller i'm holding them with opposite hands but you can see um it's the same controller but the guy spray painted it and made all the custom buttons now i'm really interested like how did he because if you see the buttons here now the circle it's funny because the circle is actually raised a bit here i don't know if you can see it but you see how the circle button's kind of like raised a little bit? So this circle button is not. If you can see right there. And that's probably like, I'm not sure how he dismantled this. I'd be very interested to know how uh, the Game Changers did this. I was in contact with a guy, Alex, who sold it to me via eBay. Um, we had some shipping problems, but those, you know, those really weren't his fault. He was dealing with a faulty USPS system. And again, in the age of COVID, the mail has been hit or miss because everyone is ordering stuff by mail these days online. If you can do it online, it's the safest, obviously, with the, you know, the pandemic coming to its end, hopefully by the end of this year. Um, you know, we got like three, two, almost three vaccines out. And um, again, I don't cover that stuff, but just in regards to, you know, these are the waning days, I guess, or waning, you know, the last year, I would say, hopefully, fingers crossed that 2022 is a lot more normal year, all right? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out um, because I got that today and I was like, this is something people would like, I think, in the gaming community. This is more like a gaming video vlog um, and I think it would be really cool. Uh, you guys probably, I don't know, like, I'm not sure if I'm speaking to the choir because <laughs> I'm not sure how many people own PS5s because I know scalpers continue to buy them. I did make a video about this back in November where I just went on a complete rant about how broken the PlayStation 5 buying system was because at the time I was trying to get one and I was running into all the same problems that you guys, if you've been trying to buy the console, have probably been running into. 
uh, where you go on Walmart. Walmart's like, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard. We're going to be selling PlayStation 5s. You go on literally the second it opens, and it says they're sold out because people have bots that break the system. And uh, these retailers aren't smart enough to stop them. So I had an entire rant video about that. If you want to check it out, um, I think I did a pretty good job. Usually when I'm fired up like that, I just kind of let it loose. Um, so, yeah. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually excited to do this might actually be like the year of the retrospective you know now that i've been on youtube for 10 years that might be something to fill the void of content on my channel you know because i'll do a review vlog let's say this i'll do a review vlog for each of the new walking dead episodes all right i will do i'll cover each one i will not do a reaction video but i'll cover the bonus episodes especially because one of them is here's negan which is Negan's backstory. His wife, Hillary Burton, is actually Lucille, which is a crazy casting. That's an awesome choice, and it's really cool that his real-life wife is Negan's wife. <laughs> That's a crazy crossover. And this is obviously based off of a significant comic called Here's Negan, which was a spinoff from the original Walking Dead from Robert, Robert Kirkman. And, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. Um... And so I hope that, you know, I hope that you guys are excited for it because this, you know, the whispers were wrapped up at the end of season 10, as we know, and we have the Commonwealth. I don't think there's going to be any like story about the Commonwealth. I think they're going to use Eugene, Ezekiel and Yumiko and uh, Princess all being captured in the train car. I think they're probably going to do like a princess flashback episode, like similar to the Negan flashback episode. They'll do a princess flashback episode and maybe some of the other characters. Maybe they'll get away. I don't know. I just, I haven't heard any news about them casting anyone from the Commonwealth. So it le it leads me to believe that there's, that the soldiers are going to be in it, but there's not going to be any, there's, there isn't going to be anything further from it. If you guys get what I mean, like it's going to be more filler content and that's what, that's what these episodes are. It's more just filler stuff um, to hold us over so that there's Walking Dead content in the spring because most likely we're going to get season 11. They've already started filming it, actually, I saw. They started filming season 11 of The Walking Dead, and that will be probably airing in the fall, and that's the last season, as you guys know. It's extended, but they did announce, and I did make a vlog about that last fall, that season 11 is... The final season of the show obviously there's still one more season of world beyond fear the walking dead is actually good by all accounts i still have to watch season six um and um the rick grime movies when the hell are those coming out i don't freaking know i mean holy shit we were only told about those in freaking 2018 now it's 2021 we're going on three years since Gimple made that announcement. And of course, me being a huge Andrew Lincoln and Rick Grimes fan, I am eagerly awaiting when the hell those friggin' come out. So whether it's some sort of you download the movie at home, like HBO Max has been doing with the movie theater movies, or it's something else, AMC exclusive, whatever the hell, I just want to friggin' watch it. So yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with that. And again, they could say, oh, the pandemic's delaying it. But let's be honest, before the pandemic hit, we were, it was like molasses pace trying to get this information or any viable information on the Walking Dead movie. So it's not the pandemic's fault that, I mean, maybe a little bit with production they wanted to do later, but they always seem to be moving at a slow pace. And I'm not sure if that's because Andrew Lincoln was like, hey, I got to finish up a few movies, something to do with his contract. I'm not sure what the reasoning is, um, but... I, again, like, the more time goes on, the older he gets. I'm not sure if he still has interest. They were saying it was going to be a trilogy, but again, like, you can't have freaking, you know, old-ass Andrew Lincoln playing Rick. I mean, you know, you can only let so much time pass. And then, you know, does Pollyanne McIntosh, who plays Jadis, is she going to be involved with it? Because she's the one who saves Rick in that Season 9 episode. There's always there's also been rumors of Heath, who I mean at this point why the hell even include him? I mean it's been freaking <laughs> it's been like since 2016 in freaking season six that we have last seen Heath, and then they use that freaking uh, you know they use the helicopter group thing to freaking just whisk him away from the show. So you know, um, so yeah, 
those are some things. Um, but the next vlogs I'm going to do are some retrospectives into old content for my channel. Um, this obviously goes back to some early days for me when I was first experimenting with my camcorder, with filming stuff on a camera, with um, getting involved in different communities like the Dark Side Phil community, which a lot of people still know me from. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff like that in the work. So, anyway, quick vlog, but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and um, see you guys later.